guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another book haul. Um, this one is slightly cumulative, though not really, because only one of the books did not come from the same place on the same day. Um, they, I bought them all in September or received them. The first one actually was sent to me uh, for review, but not technically because I am a birch blogger, and so I sort of did this, they do these things where they're like, hey, tweet why you want to read this book and we'll pick X number of people to read, to send this book free for the Birch Blogger um, book club. So I tweeted because it sounded like something I would like and I was selected as one of the winners and so Putnam, I think is the, com the publishing company, yeah, Putnam sent me this book and I'm terrible with what categories books go into. I think it might be either contemporary or adult fiction, I don't know, or just modern lit, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's called Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. I don't know if that's Leanne or not. Um, I'll actually insert a picture right here because I took the dust jacket off of it and the dust jacket is beautiful. I am actually currently reading it, which is why I have the dust jacket off of it, and then I misplaced it. So, yes. Um, but this one is so far so good. I really like um, her style of writing, and I'm definitely... It's one of those where like I'm turning the pages, like page turner, love this. So I will be looking into more of her books in the future for sure. The next three I got at a local used bookstore. And I was, sometimes when I go there, um, I don't have any success. I can't find anything that I really want or anything that I've been looking for. Because I keep like a running tally of books that I want to read. And anytime I go into McKay's, I always look to see if they have them. Or I'll go, you know, look for the different authors to see if I can find anything. And they just, <laughs> it's one of those places where it's like, they... They're very bohemian about the way that they shelf books because you'll find the same book in like three sections, which is frustrating when you're looking for specifics. So it's better to go in there not really looking for anything specific because um, if you do, you'll leave frustrated because occasionally I leave frustrated. This time, however, I found several things and two of them were things that I had been looking for for a while or that I had looked for on the last trip and couldn't find, and so I was super excited to find them because they are two of the books that I most want to read. Um, the first one is not one of those. It is a book that I have seen highly recommended on BookTube, and so they had, I think they actually had all of them, but I decided to just pick the first one, pick up the first one, because after my debacle of reading The Maze Runner, I was like, let's read the first one, see if I like it. If I do, then I'll go pick up the rest of them, because they had multiple copies. So, yeah. And that is The Clockwork Angel by Cass 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 Oh my gosh, why can't I say it? Cassandra Clare. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know what I was doing. But it's the first book in the Infernal Devices series, and I've heard people talk about this and the Mortal Instruments series, and this one sounded much more up my alley and much more interesting, so I decided to pick it up, and I will probably try to start that sometime before the end of the year. Um, so yeah, I am looking forward to reading that. The next one is actually one of the books that I was most looking for whenever I go to McKay's, because it just came out this summer, and when I saw it in the bookstore, I was like, oh man, I want to buy this. But it was $26, and as much as I love Lauren Willick, I was like, I can't pay $26 for a book when I have so many other books I should be reading. So, <clears throat> I just kept checking and checking and checking, and finally, it arrived on the new releases uh, bookshelves, and that is That Summer by Lauren Willig and it's in pristine condition and it was half price and I was so excited. So this will actually probably be the next book that I read after uh, Big Little Lies because I'm just really excited. When I saw it, I clutched it to my chest and would not let it go. I was like, if I leave with nothing else, this book is coming home with me. And then the last one is actually another one that I, um, the last, the time before I actually found it, I was looking for it and I was frustrated because I was like, I don't even know if this is the right section to look in. Um, but it's The T-Rose by Jennifer Donnelly. Um, 
And this is just a historical fiction series. I it's set in London in the in 1888. Um, and I really love historical fiction. And so I saw this, like I read about this series on Goodreads maybe. And I was like, not only is it historical fiction set in, you know, a time in England that I love to read about, but also it's it has a tea tie-in. And I think we all know I like tea. So tea and books, a book with tea in it. Um, so I definitely had to pick this up. And this is also a series. They had the second one. I think they had it in hardback. Um, but again, I was trying not to get in over my head. Plus, this is a pretty big, big book. So I decided just to pick up the first one, see how I like it. If I like it, then I will look at getting the rest of them. Uh, but yeah, that is the last one. And um, I'm looking forward to reading those. I don't know. I know at least that summer I'll be reading pretty soon. Uh, the others, we'll just see how it goes, what mood I'm in as far as what kind of books I want to read. Um, but I'm sure that you will be seeing all of those in a future book wrap-up video. Um, I would love to hear what other books that you have picked up. If you've read any of these, definitely let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.